Good morning, everybody. Dear Minister Shakhvazov, First Deputy Prime Minister David Tashvili, Minister Siarto, Deputy Minister Samandov, General Secretary Mircea Burdan, Your Excellency's Ambassadors, esteemed representatives of the European Commission, of uh, transport system operators, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Romania. It's good to have you back in Bucharest already. It's my second reunion here in this format since I took my mandate about a year ago. I'm glad we're making progress. I think today will be a great day in the history of this project. I'm very glad that we have managed to sign the documents for the JV, and I want to thank everybody for mobilizing in time so we can uh, make this announcement today, as well as uh, amend with technical discussions our agreement based on uh, the request that we received from the Commission. I know we have a full agenda, so I won't go on for too long. Once again, thank you, everybody, and uh, special thanks to our host today here in the government building, uh, Mircea Brodan, the General Secretary of the Government. He also oversees our uh, transport system operator, both on the electricity side and on the gas side. And once again, thank you, my friend. Mircea. Thank you, Minister Burduja. Good morning to everyone. Your ministers, vice ministers, high governmental representatives, and European Commission officials. It's a great honor and joy to have the opportunity to meet all of you here today in this formula at the eighth ministerial meeting pursuant to the agreement on strategic partnership in the field of green energy development and transmission between the governments of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Georgia, Romania, and Hungary. The development of renewable energy production capacities in Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Romania, and the development of the necessary transport infrastructure from the Caspian Sea to Central Europe will have a major impact, ensuring medium to long-term energy security and independence both for the region and for all of Europe. Since the end of 2022, when the agreement was uh, signed, important steps were taken, as you well know. In 2023, the first step, the memorandum of the Romanian government was approved on the subject, approval of the negotiation and signing of the memorandum of understanding for the establishment of a joint venture between the relevant entities of the governments of Republic of Azerbaijan, Georgia, Romania, and Hungary. And the next step with Transelectrica being this designated as the relevant party in Romania for the establishment of the joint venture. And today, when Transelectrica, Azer Energy, Georgian State Electro Systems, and uh, MVM, Hungarian Electrical Works, will sign the association agreement for the establishment of a joint venture company to implement the Green Energy Corridor project. The Green Energy Corridor and uh, the Georgia's Romania submarine cable are of strategic importance. These are strategic investments, unique projects for Romania, which due to their technical complexity imply a long implementation period, but also are of great importance, both from a geopolitical point of view and one that will transform Romania into a regional energy hub, a pole of energy security in the region with a significant impact in also strengthening European energy security. We know today better than ever when we have an ongoing war at our country's borders that energy independence and investments in renewable resources are the solution to a secure and sustainable future. I congratulate you all, thank you, and I wish you to embark today together on a solid path of a fruitful collaboration with good results for all partners involved and for a more efficient, resilient, stronger and greener Europe. Thank you very much and good luck with the discussions. Thanks. Thank you again, uh, Mr. General Secretary of the Government.